Hi everybody, this is Susie. Um, we've got a storm, we've got things happening as you can see. An ambulance just rushed by, usually they come from the other direction, that's interesting. And uh, there's people out there not paying attention where they're driving, I'm sure. If you're following too closely behind people, guess what? <laughs> you never know when they're going to be rear-ending someone and you're going to hit them. And you're the one that's going to be to blame. So. Um, texting and driving and not paying attention where you're going and following too closely, I recommend you take heed to those three warnings. Don't do any of them. <laughs> Don't follow too closely behind anyone. Don't text and drive. And, and you must pay attention. So there's less accidents, brothers and sisters. we got to protect our lives so we can continue on until Jesus comes, right? And those of you who don't know Jesus, you never know. You never know when someone's going to cross that yellow line and you take your last breath you know, or you, you, you take, you cross the yellow line and, uh, whatever it takes, you got to call in Jesus now before you do have that happen. Something could go wrong with somebody, uh, you know, unexpectedly in your life. And that last breath is breathed and the next breath or the next awakening will be in one of two places, heaven or hell. Yes, that's the way it goes. We either end up in heaven or hell for all of eternity. And the life we're living here will determine that, what our choices are, how we make a, a choice between right and wrong and good and bad and, um, you know, we're believing or not believing in the one and only Son of God, Jesus Christ, who went to the cross for our sins and, and paid a heavy price to, to, to purchase us. He bought us. We're, we're, we're bought and paid for. And our redemption is drawing very near, meaning Jesus is coming very soon. So let no man steal your crown. Those of us who are born again believers in Christ, we are we are children of God, bought with a price so by surrendering our hearts and our lives over to Jesus. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord to be saved. You've got to do that, everybody. If you have not done that yet, I urge you to stop mocking and making fun of those of us who have done that. And we're out here begging you, imploring you, with a sense of the most urgency for your life. It's a matter of life. Eternal life or eternal death, damnation in hell for all of eternity, these messages. They're a matter of your life and, or death. And... Death is a horrible, horrible way of saying damnation and hell for all of eternity. The second death, woe unto those who die in their sins in this world and you end up in hell. And then, you know, the final second death after the uh, end of time, after the end of the final 1,000 years reign, when God calls you forth out of hell and you think you may have another chance at making heaven. And no, no, it's going to get much worse. At that point, when he tells you, depart from me, I never knew you, thus saith the Lord Jesus Christ, he will throw you into the lake of fire. You will be cast into the lake of fire. Death and hell will be cast into the lake of fire. It is written, you can't escape the word of God. You can't stop it from being true. That's a fact. You cannot stop the word of God from being, tr from being true simply because you don't want to believe it. And in fact, Sister Angela Cummings, a wonderful, awesome woman of God, a street preacher that has been around the world uh, and is right now over in uh, Amsterdam or another, I forget where. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sister. Um, preaching the gospel over there. Um, she's been to like over 50 some countries. So she knows what she's talking about. But she has a, a famous line that she says, The theme song in hell will be none other than, I did it my way. But the way she proclaims it is, you got to see it. I'll find a clip of her pronouncing that in her terms, too, as she's sharing the gospel truth about Jesus Christ and what he did for us on the cross and that you need him. Every single human being on this earth needs Jesus Christ to be their Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ is Lord, and there is no denying it. I mean, no getting around it. 
you can deny it all you want, but one day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now, are you going to have to be forced to bow your knee to him? Because you simply are denying him and rejecting him right now in this life while you're breathing? Or will you gladly, will you gladly, spontaneously, without a doubt, and fall on your knees with thankfulness for his mercy and grace upon your sinful manner that he paid for, for what he did for you? Will you gladly bow to him that he is Lord? Jesus Christ is Lord. You've got to do that. You've got to bow your knee to him now. Bow, you will, whether it's now or just before you get thrown into the lake of fire for all of eternity. Damned to hell forever and ever and ever. And the smoke of your torment, as it says in Revelation chapter 14, will rise up forever and ever and ever. You will never have a drop of water if you don't call upon the Lord Jesus. You will never feel an ending to the pain and suffering if you don't call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. You will never have an ounce of rest day or night forever and ever and ever. You will have weeping and gnashing of teeth forever and ever and ever. You will have total darkness forever and ever and ever. Are you getting it now? You will have complete and utter separation from God forever and ever. Complete separation from all your loved ones that made it to heaven forever and ever and ever and ever. And ever and ever without end. There will be no ending to, to your torment and your torture. You'll have mind, your mind will be tormented forever and ever. The devil and his demons will be torturing you forever and ever and ever. You think this world is bad? It is bad. It's horrible. It's full of darkness and evil and people doing what they want, having their life go their way. And yep, their theme song in heaven won't be funny because they did it their way. Excuse me. Did I say heaven? I don't remember what I just said. The theme song in hell as Sister Angela put it, is no laughing matter. You want to do it your way. The gates of hell are what you're going to cross through into an eternal, never-ending torment with fire and brimstone. Not a drop of water. Not a day of rest. Shall I continue? Nah. I'd rather what God wants for you. Let's have God's will to be done for your life. For God wishes that none would perish, but that all would come to repentance and call upon his Son and be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, Jesus, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Don't you want that? Don't you want what Jesus has waiting for you in heaven for all of eternity? Why would you want to go anywhere else but heaven? There is no other place. There is no other place. And there is no other name given by men under heaven whereby we must be saved. That name is Jesus. Either you believe or you don't. And if you're a lukewarm person, God hates that. In the book of Revelation, he'll tell you that. He will spew you out of his mouth if you can't make up your mind and decide which side you are on. That's like people that are against you now and they're they're siding with your your enemies and and, and yet they pretend to know you and and like you. It's much worse when you do that to God, to Jesus Christ. You know him. You believe in like for like me, for example, people that are against me aren't letting me know they're against me because they're being nice to my face about Jesus. You know, they're not sure where to put their faith. So, you know, they please both sides. You want to please both parties? You're fearing man what they think of you? You're lukewarm. You believe in Jesus. You know who he is, but he's not in your heart. You're stuck in this world, pleasing man. If you live to please man, you will surely be cast into all of eternity in hell. 
You don't live to please man if you want to make it into heaven. Born again believers in Christ, Jesus Christ, do not worship anyone but Jesus. We do not play play games with our faith. We do not pray to to dead people. We do not worship idols. We do not pray to statues. We do not pray to any man dressed in big, long, white, colorful, or colorful robes. We do not practice religious deeds and doctrines of man. Born-again believers in Jesus Christ are the true Christians of this world. And we believe in Jesus Christ and we follow Jesus Christ. We live for him. We surrendered our whole lives and our hearts over to him. And he is our Lord and Savior. We are dead to our old selves because we're born again, risen in Christ, dead to our old selves, buried with Christ, all our sins buried with Christ. And we are risen again into a new life as a new creature in Christ Jesus. That's a Christian. And we stick together. And if you come against one of the children of God, you mock them. Sorry, my dog's chewing in the background. Always does that when I'm doing a video. If you mock or you give any trouble to the children of God, you better look out because God's looking out for us. And he will not tolerate anybody to come up against his children to mock them because really it's Jesus Christ, his son, that you're against. Not, not the children of God. You're against those who are for Jesus Christ and his righteousness. You are against God Almighty if you don't accept Jesus. You're against the one true God. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. You need him, and you need him now. You need to call upon the name of the Lord and be saved from your old foolish self. Whoever you are, whatever you've done, Jesus Christ paid a heavy price to forgive if you will only just trust him and believe in him only. Don't be lukewarm and don't be messing around with the things of this world. Your very soul is at risk of being thrown into hellfire, into hell for all of eternity. Please, I don't wish that for you. The purpose of me doing videos, the whole purpose of this channel is to reach out to anyone who doesn't know and trust and believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. That you have not, It's to reach out to the, to the lost souls out there who are not putting their faith properly in the cross of Jesus Christ, what he did for us on that cross. We have to focus on Jesus in these very last days. Time is so very short. There is no time to play games with your soul. You could take your last breath any moment of any day when God calls you to your life to be ended. Now, where do you want to end your life and, and, and start your new, new eternity? Do you want to end your life here knowing you left behind a great legacy, a good name for yourself, leaving the love of Jesus Christ for all to see behind? Not, behind, not not to end, but you know, leaving a good legacy of yourself that you love Jesus Christ, and you and you left good, um, obedient, faithfulness um, for others to remember that you you served Him. Or are you going to leave behind unrepented sin, evil and bitterness in your heart, anger? troubleness, despair? Are you going to leave those thoughts behind and those feelings behind that people remember you from? They remember you of being just sad and mean all the time. That's because you don't have Jesus. Jesus will create in you a new heart. He will make you brand new. And you don't have to prepare to have Jesus. Jesus takes care of every single need you have. Jesus changes you from the inside out so people will see and remember a beautiful you they'll for, they'll see the change in you they'll see the revival in your spirit jesus christ comes and pours out his water the living water to give you life and you will have a new life and and, and a new beautiful outlook on life and you will suddenly appear as a joyous beautiful person you'll be you'll be filled with joy and will reflect the love and the light of jesus christ that's what you want to leave behind if you take your last breath. So I ended the phone call. In, meantime, in the meantime, the weather has settled down. It's less rainy and the sky is brighter now. 
a little tiny bit brighter anyway and the rain stopped but um, what I was getting at about Jesus and and uh, you know where you're gonna go to if you don't have when you take your last breath it, it's all determined on what you believe you can't believe in any false gods that are you know just be simply because you don't want to believe in Jesus let's face it when you mention the name of Jesus it does something to you it says something to you it touches you somehow just saying the name Jesus there's power in that name and that's a power that the enemy the devil does not want you to embrace because that power Jesus has defeated him on the cross so do you understand how powerful Jesus is and what he did for us he's so powerful that the devil is working overtime to try and hide that power from you and to distract you from believing in it and to put doubt in your mind and tell you things and send you places and, and put, put false teachers in front of you and anything that he can do to get your attention to anything but Jesus. You need Jesus. And if you want to be saved and you want to go to heaven, don't look anywhere else to find an answer. To how to get there because there is no other way to get to heaven but through Jesus Jesus Christ said I am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the Father but by me that's John 14 6 please hear this message time is very 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 short very very short indeed we are in the time when Jesus will be seen by the generations that live here on this earth right now. Don't disregard the truth simply because you don't want to end your life here. God has a say of when your life is over, not you. So you want to live to make him happy, not man. You want to live for Jesus, the Son of God. The purpose of him being sent here to demonstrate God's love for you was on that cross. Now who whose side are you going to be on? God's side by choosing his son Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today? Or are you going to stick with man who sides with the devil, the God of this world, Satan? One represents heaven, one represents hell. I pray that you choose Jesus and that I see you in heaven. God bless you in Jesus' precious holy name.